lot safer when you do. So let's do the eye test. Where is she standing? So we're talking about feathering. Let's go ahead and feather this shot. So again, you know when you've done it correctly because you will see two catch lights in the person's eyes. So that's how you know you have it at the right height and the right angle. So now let's have her take a step this way and back up. Yeah, one in, one in each eye. Okay. You want to have one in each eye. I actually want to go up a little higher. So when you're looking at images and you're trying to figure out where the lights are, look into the eyes. The eyes will tell you everything. All right, so let's lift up a little bit. I'm going to act like you guys are not here. And it's set up as if I was going to shoot, if I'm shooting something. That looks more like my lighting. Beautiful light and we're feathering the light. So if she takes a step back, take one more step back. That's a big old step, come back up. <laughs> take a baby step, there we go. Now, to make this pop even more, because the light source is coming from this side, if we wanted to, it actually probably was already affecting it anyway, but let's just bring it in closer. Let me, make, let me not hit you with it, right? Am I close? I'm good? Can I come closer? I can't see. All right, perfect. I was just shooting, I was shooting your, from your, like here up, but that was just a test. So when you add in a V flat, so you can use a reflector. Um, I like V flats because one, they're huge. They can cover the whole body. So a V flat is gonna, re a V flat is gonna reflect light back onto your subject, but it's gonna do it very softly and it's gonna take up a lot of space. So it's gonna make a big reflection of light back onto your subject versus just being like kind of specular. I do like using bit reflectors too. So I'll use a five foot reflector or a three foot reflector or a little circle reflector depending on what I'm shooting. So, so now we're using a V flat right next to her. Yeah, so you can make them, if you go to Home Depot, you can buy these big boards and just get some really good tape. Some of them already come black and white. Starting out, get a reflector because you're gonna use that more often. I've never taken a V-flat on set outside. This is literally for studio only, for me. I'm not saying you can't, but. You can see that V-flat is making a huge difference. Beautiful, beautiful light. And again, you can see two catch lights in our eyes. That's how we know we did it correctly. All right, so now let's adjust that light again. Let's do, um, let's do clamshell. When you're doing clamshell, we wanna come a little bit higher because I need to be able to get in there, you know, in front of her. So clamshell. Let me adjust my, my angle as well. So always remember, that's why you wear a belt. <laughs> um, always remember that your light has angle and direction well it has angle and intensity that's what I meant to say so right now the light is hitting her straight on her face but if I bring this down it's going to look more like it's the sun a lot of times in the studio you're trying to mimic the sun put it that way so angles that are coming down in your subject are actually flattering now you do need to keep in mind shadows and what, what's going on but a lot of times you're gonna to wanna to come down on them. Having stuff straight at them is not like super flattering for, for what we're trying to accomplish. All right, let's go up. I'm gonna go a little bit higher. There we go. So now we can actually see her. I don't like being on this edge, so take two steps back. And let's rotate this so the thing is in the... In the what? <laughs> Man, listen, so Leticia has been working with me for a long time. Our first time doing a beauty shoot, it was in an apartment with a beauty dish. It was just, it was, just, I got it done, but it was janky. It was very, very janky. So let's show you guys how to put this back in. So let's say you do have a reflector. 
teaching like random stuff at this point. So let's say you do have a reflector. Huh? So you need three reflectors. Get you a big six foot one or five foot one, get you a medium size and then get you a small circular one. So you need the big, the big giant reflector for full body stuff. The medium reflector can help with full body, but it's a little more easy to manage. And then you have your little one, which is gonna be used for head shots and that type of thing, okay? okay so if you need to put your reflect, your, I don't know what to call this, your, your reflective material, <laughs> back onto your, your reflector around your scrim, you're gonna grab this part, you're gonna wrap around here. And again, I learned this from, watching people on youtube i hate not knowing things so you're going to wrap it around there's a hole here you stick that through the hole yeah, and everything else just wraps around so much easier right because if you don't use this you're just going to be wrapping and pulling and yanking and especially by yourself it's super super hard that way As you can see, it's still kind of hard. There we go. I'm like, if I can't put this on here, I don't need to be out here. Let's go home, play with my daughter. All right. So, all right, so we're gonna do clamshell lining. What we were just talking about, we're gonna take out the V flat so I'm also gonna stick to a lot of one light setups because a lot of times you don't need 19 lights. Now we have six in the studio. No, I was holding on purpose. We have like six in the studio because we're extra. And that is what it is. You never know what you gotta do. Um, but you can get a lot done with just one light, okay? So let's test our light out. Again, I haven't checked any settings. I haven't done anything. All I did was move my light. Let's see if I got it right. That looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Now, we can see two catch lights, right? You can see the you can see the catch light from the 5 foot octobox on this side, but you see the size of them, they're different. This one is a lot smaller than that one, right? But the reflector is, is the right size. So that means I need to shift something over so I can balance these out. Because when they're not balanced, that's how you get all the extra shadow that's over here. I'm gonna shift it, I'm gonna pull it towards this way. Actually, we're doing Rembrandt, uh, not Rembrandt, clamshell, so actually I need to do this. So this, Take a baby step back and lift up. I don't know what a small, oh, I had a small reflector. In my car. <laughs> it's in my car. That's fine, just use that for now. Um, so this is actually clamshell light, so let's take a shot. So the only issue with this is that, you see how that pole is right in the middle? So this is where the arms come in. So you can use either the arm that I showed you guys earlier. Um, see that black one right there? This, that is a whole, it's called a, a, a boom arm. A ba that's a baby boom arm. Take it out, take the whole thing out real quick. So this one will allow you to do the same thing, but you can bring this over. So I can lift this down, this can come across. But what happens is on the head of it, which is right there, I'm pointing towards you guys, it can rotate. See how that's rotating? So that can move the whole modifier. Again, this is not something you have to have. This is not like, oh my God, if I don't have this, I'll never be anything. I didn't get this, we didn't get this until like a year ago. So I had seen them before, but I didn't have one for a year. You guys have seen my portfolio, you don't need it. You can get, a, you can get away with it using the arm. I should sell that to you. What? You and a used price? Let's look at our light. Clamshell lighting. It's gorgeous. 
So this is great for headshots as well. So anytime I'm doing headshots, I normally do one light over the top and a reflector. And it's gotten me so much work. Because a, a lot of doctor's offices or lawyers or whatever, they're used to the just light. There's no style to it. So this incorporates that like fashion feel to it to a headshot. At, still professional, still looks great.